Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. Today is Share a Daughter Sunday and today we're going to share Topanga, my beautiful little Hawaiian baby. I adopted her through my friend uh, Michelle. We did a trade and I love this little girl. She is a, a silicone snuggle babies. Um, that's the name of the company. And she came, you know, pre-colored like this. She's got some great art on her, but I do want to add more. I always talk about that. I do want to do the toes and the fingers. That wasn't done. I want to add a little bit more art to her, blush her up a little bit more. And of course, I want to root her. The hair that was in, Michelle had pulled out because it's kind of hard. Even her lashes are kind of hard. So I'm going to pull them out and redo the lashes and the hair on her. I do have her ears pierced, but she's just beautiful. And she's kind of a large, new, um, large preemie to newborn size to small newborn. Um, but yes, we just love this little baby. There's Minnie. I don't know if she got into the camera there. Our little fur baby. Hi. Hi. I don't even know if you guys can see her. I'm going to see if she's in the camera. Yeah, she is. <laughs> that's Minnie. She was just groomed. Look at how pretty she is. Yeah, that's our little minners. That's a Morky, a Maltese and a Yorkie mix. And she is eight years old. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, so we love this little girl, our little Hawaiian. And um, we're going to get her in a cute outfit today. Like I said, I'm just trying to help these babies just to be a little bit warmer than the onesies. And then, of course, the weather got a little bit better. So we do have the air off today, but it is going to warm up again. So I'm going to put something on her just a little bit more warm. Um, but, yes, we're just loving this little girl. I thank you so much, Michelle, for her. We love her. And I just want to, like I said, fix her up a little bit. But she's very soft and great silicone. I would say she's around a 20 eco, maybe a little bit more than a 20, but about a 20 eco. She's nice and floppy. Beautiful, beautiful girl. And in the back, as you see, I've got my Goldie. This is the baby I have up for sale. I like to put her in some of the videos. Um, I do have her in a haul video you guys are going to see today, too. Um, but I put her in there as well, just in case people don't watch the baby and they watch the hauls. They don't watch the hauls, they watch the baby. That way you guys get to see um, her. Um, so I like to put them in some. But she's my beautiful uh, full-body silicone. She's 8.5 pounds. And she is 19 inches long, and she is a open eye baby, a gorgeous baby that I painted. I do budget babies. I buy them off of Ivita, Volance, Cosdal, Ivita. I mean, I already said that. Uh, AliExpress, just all the different ones. And and then I paint them. I seal them with silicone velvet. I use very good paints. I use uh, um, Fuse FX paints. And once I seal them with silicone velvet, I have one that's almost a year old. I have not had to powder it. Um, it doesn't get sticky. I can bathe them, change them, everything. And so far, so good. So I don't know how long the silicone velvet is going to hold up, but when it embeds into it, like they are just as soft as can be. She is super floppy. She is a 20 Ecoflex, but I think she's got some kind of a slacker or a marshmallow blend in her or something, or she's like less than a 20 eco. She's so flappy and so beautiful. I will bring her up to the camera quick. I just have a couple things in the prop, but they go home with her. I did open her mouth. I did put the little bow on her head, but she can wear the hat too. That's the outfit. This is one of the outfits she's coming home in. I'll get her up to the camera for you guys real quick because I just like to show you how beautiful she is. Look at that. Look at that little scratch. I put that little scratch on her, but isn't that cute, the little scratch and all her veining. She's got mottling, veining, um, blushing. I did the nail beds. Uh, both uh, the beds and the tips, uh, veining there. She is just gorgeous, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. I own two of these ones, Toby and Heavenly. There are, you know, some of the art there that you get to see. But I do have a video on her, a full video from start to finish um, as far as what she looked like before and after. She's very floppy, a very, very floppy baby. I am holding her, but she's very floppy. So very realistic, like a real born baby, you know, real newborn baby to hold. But she's so pretty and she's looking for a home. I did open her mouth for you guys just straight across with an exacto knife so she can take full pacifiers because uh, I know people like that and for feeding. And stuff like that. People like to do that. But she is a beautiful, beautiful baby with those beautiful eyes. I named her Goldie. You obviously can change the name. Uh, but, uh, you know, I just like to name them when I'm working with them. And she comes with all this fun stuff here. There's another outfit. That outfit is from TJ Maxx. It says, I love mom and dad all over it. And then this one's from Walmart. It's a three-piece. It's a dress. Came with the little, I got. I mean, not came with that. It got the little shoes, too. And then it's got diapers. It's got uh, a teether. It's got socks. It's got a blanket she'll be wrapped in, a blanket on her face. This is a Gerber brand new blanket she'll be wrapped in. When she goes home, she's got towels, uh, washcloths. She's got a um, pacifier clip. There's uh, baby powder in there. There's baby wipes in there. There's mitts for the hands I'll have on her. I mean, there's just so much fun stuff in here for her. You guys, just so much that goes with her. I keep it in here just to keep everything nice and seal it off. Uh, when it's in the back room and she goes into a box just to keep her nice a closed in box so she doesn't get dusty but she is so soft and also they don't collect anything because they're so soft they're not collecting any dust or anything you buy this baby online 
Um, some places, uh, some countries, you're paying like four hundred for her. I'm only asking two ninety nine plus the large flat rate shipping, and of course that's in the United States. Anything outside of the United States, the shipping will be more. Um, but you know, still a great deal. It's still going to be a lot of. Um, it's going to be under if you were to buy it yourself. Um, some of them may be around that price, but she is a great price. I paid a little over two hundred for her with the tax and everything. She has got the floppiest head. Her head can move really great. You know, um, I love how you can like pose her. I just love it. She's very poseable and stuff like that because she's so floppy and so cute, you guys, and looking for a good home. She is the Pepper version. If you watch In Love with Reborns, her baby is called Pepper. That's the Pepper version. That's the baby this is. And she is fun. I own two of them. Like I said, Toby and Heavenly. Uh, both of those babies are just awesome. Mine, Toby is a 30 eco, so he's harder. My other one is a 20 eco, but it, this one is the softest and floppiest. I wish my Heavenly and Toby would have came like this, but I still love them. It's okay. But like I said, they don't collect anything because it's silicone velvet. Thus, it's name, you guys. It's very velvety soft, and she doesn't get sticky or nothing. Like I've noticed the one I have for over a year, mine has not yet needed to be powdered. So you're going to find that as being something great. And, of course, she'll come with this bottle, too, and that nook, that newborn nook, the pink one. So, yeah, Shay, I'm looking for a home. Who wants me? All right, let's get on now to the reading. We get to start the Billy Graham, you guys. And it's Billy Graham Wisdom for Each Day. Excited to do this. I'm going to go ahead and open. I got this from Walmart, you guys. All right, let's see the first one we're on today. I love Billy Graham, you guys. I really do. Now, these go by the... Um, the uh, time of, like it says January 1st, all the way in, so it's got all the months. So I guess what we'll do is go to the month uh, that we're in because obviously that fits for the day. So today is uh, July um, 29th. Well, it'll be July 29th when you get it. So we'll read the July 29th and we'll just see how it fits. And then I'll just keep going till I go all the way back to the other way. So July 29th, Louder Than Words. This one is called Louder Than Words. I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received, Ephesians 4.1. Then it says, someone has wisely observed that the only Bible some people will ever read is the one that is the one they see demonstrated in the life of a Christian. In other words, the way we live often speaks far louder than our words. People may tell us that they don't believe in the Bible, but they can't deny its power as they see it changes as they see it change our lives, guide our decisions, and influence how we live. What do people see when they look at you? Do they see someone who's like, who, whose life reflects Christ? Do they see in you the Christ-like traits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control? Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Ask God to rule in your heart and remake you for within into the person he wants you to be. Then ask him to help you to be sensitive to those around you who may be successful on the outside, but inwardly are empty and confused, so that by your life and by your words, they may discover the joy and peace that came from knowing Christ. Wow, that was great, you guys. I like how it started with louder than words. You know, you really need to let people see that Christianity through you. That's what's going to help people too. You know, you are who, who you know, you, what do they say? Uh, like you are who you hang with and, and, you know, people can see if you're a true Christian or not. You can be whoever you want outside of, you know, trying to read his word outside of that. You can be whoever you want. But if people see that you're that same Christian as you are, that you share the word, you know, like I am right now sharing his word, that just shows the Christian, you know, the Christ, the Christ like walk that you walk. Am I perfect? No, I, my name may be, may be angel, but I am no angel. I live in a glass house. We all do. Every one of us. That's why Christ died for us, because God knows that we are sinful people. The first two to ever be made, Adam and Eve, they sinned immediately and sin just began. And God knows that. So he had to find a way for us people that want that, that, you know, eternal life to be saved through Christ's death. And what a, you know, what a gift. Nobody could ever do something like that. Die for somebody, you know, God sending his own son. Could we send our own son to die for other people's sins? No. So what a gift. Nobody could ever compare it to that gift. And so it just, it will prove in the way you walk. And I love all of it, the traits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, God, goodness, um, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Have I made all these mistakes? Absolutely. But I try so hard to live as Christ-like as I can. And I ask God every day to help me to be better and better and better. So, yeah, I, I like this one. Speaking to me, telling me how I need to really, um, how it says, 
I urge you to live a life worthy of calling you have received. Worthy. We have to live that life worthy to God, you know. I love that. And then down below it says wisdom for today. God, we can show others the power you have in our lives regardless of what we're going through. We can exhibit humility in our uh, failings, peace in our own trials, and love in our dealings with difficult people. Help us live in a way that draws people to you. Amen, you guys. Boy, I want to help people be drawn into God. I truly do. I want to help other people find the Lord because the road to heaven is narrow and the road to hell is wide, you guys. And so many are not going to make it to heaven. It is our job as like a you know, disciple of the Lord to spread his word and live our life the best that we can. We are not perfect and we need to admit our sins every day. We need to ask God to forgive us daily on a daily basis to forgive us for we you know, fall short of him daily. We do. We all do. None of us live perfect. That's why we should never judge anybody, never ever judge on people how they live or anything like that because it's important to know, you know, I mean, just to look in the mirror and know when we are perfect, we have a right to judge and only Jesus was perfect. So we don't have a right to judge. We don't. Every one of us live in glass houses. So it says those without sin cast the first stone. Those that don't have sin, go ahead and throw a stone. And not a one of us are going to be able to, to throw a stone because we all live with sin. So let's be the best we can. Let's spread his word and just, you know, love God and live the life that we can. And keep asking for help with that. God will help you with that. He definitely will help you to get better and better. And the more you read, you guys, the more closer you become to God, he comes to you. And that's when your life is going to be even better. Boy, did I like that, you guys. I really did. Louder than words. Louder than words, you guys. Let's live our life the best that we can. And I really am glad to be starting this book. And like I said, um, it's got the months in there, if you guys can see that. So I'll be doing it that way. So it'll go, you know, all the way back to, through January and all that. I'll be reading like that. The next one is called Foley Man and Foley God. That ought to be a good one for uh, July 30th. I can't believe how long this month is taking to get over with. But uh, this is what the book looks like. If you guys want to get it, it's at Walmart. And they had the different ones. This one was on Wisdom. I wanted the one on Wisdom. They have a few different ones, but I thought Wisdom. I always love the Wisdom from God. And we always need to remember to start our day, end our day, and start our day, go through our day, and end our day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. This is a great tool to help us to get into heaven. This book won't get us in heaven, but the words that are in it and how we live will get us into heaven. Read all of Romans. That teaches you how to get your salvation and how to get into heaven. Romans is in the new chapter. You know, the, the, the New Testament, I mean. So read it, you guys, and let's get a great relationship with him. Am I perfect? No. Do I make mistakes? Absolutely. Am I reading every day? No. I do read these verses to you, but I also need that quality and long time with Jesus. So this helps me. And I told God that I was really going to try hard today. If I did some painting and stuff, I wanted to listen to his word. I'm going to really try hard to get his word in because there's no reason I can't read something. Even though I did this, I'm going to try to do some reading for God today. Definitely do some of my reading, even if it's just one chapter. One, one full chapter, you know, not hard to do. I definitely going to squeeze it in. All right, you guys, let's get on to Topanga now. And I hope you enjoyed those verses. And I hope you're excited that I started the Billy Graham. All right. And I like that they have something every day to give you, you know, like it says at the bottom of that book. Um, it looks like at the bottom of each one, it says wisdom for the day. So see, it's on wisdom. So it'll give you wisdom each day. That was great. All right, Topanga. She's sleeping. Yeah, she's sleeping. Let me take your little teddy bear. She stole this from me. This is my little praying teddy bear. And it is called Hope. And I just love that. Love that it's a Hope Bear. And it's the praying one. And she likes that one. She loves God. She likes her praying bear. So we're going to take off her little bracelets. Try to keep her to sleep. She's got this one that I got for her. And this one came with her. It says Princess. And she's definitely the princess. Yes, she is. All right. Here's what we're going to put on her today, you guys. I showed this. Um, you'll see it in the hall. Uh, I'm going to do the hall after. So you'll see it in the hall. But this is a newborn size. She can wear preemie to newborn, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on her. Uh, but I think I'm going to do the pink one for her. This one came from, um, where is this, from Target. And I paid $8.40 for this. You get two onesies and a little pair of pants with the heart on the butt. And the pants are red with little pink hearts. They're little leggings. And then it's got the all full white onesie with the little um, uh, uh, ladybug on it. And then these flowers that are heart-shaped. And then it's got the pink one with the with the ladybugs and the hearts on it and then heart-shaped flowers. It's really cute. It's got the stem and everything and then the little pants. And I'm trying to decide if I want the pink or the white for her today. Um, we'll do the pink. We'll do the pink today. So we're going to put the pink one on her, the pink onesie, with the pants. We're going to go ahead and do the pants because I will be putting the air back on and they're not, you know, they are babies. Babies don't get as uh, warm as we do and it, it it still feels good in here even without the air because it's not that warm today so it does feel good so yeah she's she'll be okay I mean I could just do just the onesie but we'll leave her barefoot that way you know 
she's a little bit cooler, plus she won't have a hat on. She'll have just the bow, and I'll show you the bow that's going on her. And a nice big bow. I like doing the big ones right now on her, uh, just to cover up kind of the head, because it's got some of the hair missing, some there. So just to cover it, I like that. So she'll also have this big red bow, which is going to be cute. It's like a Christmas bow. So pretty. That'll be on her, and then we're going to give her the pink nook. So we're doing a combination of pink and red to match on her. Alrighty, let's just flap her and turn her this way. And yes, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope that you are yourself trying to live your life the best that you can for Christ, spreading his word. It's important that we do. And if you're not a person that believes, I pray so much for you. Um, not that that's bad. You have your own decisions. God gives everybody their own choice in life, which is nice. Oh, we got to unbutton this. Which is nice that God gives you, you know, the your own choice. And everybody's got their own choice, you know, in life, what they want to do. But I just hope that I can save some souls because without knowing Christ and, you know, once it's over, then, you know, people then will learn of the heaven and the hell, you know. And so I just hope that I can save some souls, but not pushing anything on anybody. If you don't want to listen to those verses, then that's your choice. Um, but, yeah, I just hope that I can save some souls. And I hope you guys realize that God, you know, God is real. Jesus is real. He walked this earth and died for us. Another thing I want to do is, um, you know, fix up her nipples a little bit and her belly button. It was never painted her belly button. So I do want to fix that too. So there's things I want to do with her. We'll get this off. But see, this is what I'm talking about. She's got that hair like that, you know, coming out. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll bring her up close to the camera so you guys can see. And you'll be able to tell what I'm talking about on the hair. See, it's very rough looking, very hard. And the lashes are very hard. So I want to fix that. And of course, she needs her eyebrows rerooted and all that. So that's why I like a bigger one on her. But look at that face. That is the sweetest face ever. She's got an open mouth. And I think she even has a tongue. Yeah, it looks like she has a tongue. Looks like she does. But yeah, see, the belly button wasn't done. There's just certain things I want to do. The nails weren't done. Uh, the toes. So I want to do all of that. There might be some coloration there. But if it is, it's all kind of wore off. So I'm going to fix it, and then here's the back of her. So I'm just going to give her more art, basically, is what I want to do. I did pierce her ears, but you see that? That's why I cover that up. I'm going to pull it all up, but I haven't had a chance to do that yet. But she is the love of our life, and she definitely looks like a little Hawaiian. We didn't know what uh, um, ethnic to go with with her, and I thought maybe a little Mexican. She could look like a little Mexican, a little biracial. Uh, but then both me and my husband liked Hawaiian. We thought she looks like a little Hawaiian baby, so she's our Hawaiian baby, yeah. She is. We don't need to change the diaper, so we're just going to go ahead and get her dressed. Now, this is going to be slightly a little bit big on her because, like I said, she's a large preemie to small newborn size. So onesies just always work great anyways, right? They always work great on babies because, I mean, unless they're just giant, you know, but just going from a, uh, you know, her being a large preemie to newborn and just going with the newborn size, this is going to fit her just fine. And the little pants look like they're going to work great for her, too. But yeah, I just want to get these babies a little bit warmer because I do put the air on for sure at night, no matter what, unless it's really cold outside because it's still, you know, in the 70s, it's still warm. But at night, because we close our windows up, you know, I want to have the air on. So the air is on. So I just want them to be, you know, somewhat warm. You know? Still wearing something that wouldn't be like too, too warm. Like today, I'm wearing leggings myself and a, a t-shirt or whatever. So, you know, I want my babies to be the same. And then we'll put these little pants on her. See, that fits fine. It's a little bit big, but adorable. I love the heart on these pants and the butt. Isn't that cute? So these we know are going to fit her perfectly. So she is, if I didn't tell you, oh, I, I probably already did. She's all the babies I bring on. I always tell you, or I'll write it in the, uh, I write it in the box. She is a full body silicone. And she, like I said, she was a silicone snuggle babies is the company. So she is a legit baby. Uh, COA baby. I didn't get the COA because when I got this from my friend uh, Michelle, um, she didn't get it. She had traded this baby, I think, with somebody or bought this baby or whatever she did, but never did get um, the COA from them. But, you, you know, not every time do you need the COA. People can tell what's real and what's not, and she is a real COA baby. So, yeah, we'll leave those cute little feet, but look at that, you guys. Look at how adorable. I'll get some great photographs at the end, and we'll get some of her butt. Yeah, she's got a chunky butt, too. She's definitely got a bubble butt. She does. She does, but we don't want to wake her, right? Say, Mommy, don't wake me. <laughs> she's so happy. She's got that happy face. And we're going to do this great big bow on her. Oh, my gosh, it's going to look so adorable. It really is because she just looks so cute with these. They're almost like those, um, uh, I always forget the word, and then it comes to my mind. Um, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, my gosh, adorable. Adorable, stop it. You 
Stop it, little girl. You look too cute. Let's put on her bracelets again. I would have thrown up on the screen what I was trying to say. I know you guys know what I was trying to say. So to put these on, you can just wind it on. Um, it's the snake ones. I got a six pack of these from TJ Maxx and every every baby got one. And now I think I have got a baby that needs one. Oh yeah, Charity. Charity needs one. So we need to get another pack of them so all my babies have it. Plus I'm making bracelets for my baby. Some of them don't have them. Oh my gosh, she looks adorable. Let's get her nooking. I'm getting a little bit of silicone velvet. It does slide right in for her, though. She takes a nook really, really good. I did even open her mouth a slightly little bit more because she did have to take a modified pacifier, but not anymore. I did open up the back a little bit deeper so she could take full passies. But, oh, my gosh, is she ever cute. Look at this cutie pie. Look at her and look at her bare feet. See, that's perfect. Perfect weather clothes for somebody in a home with... Um, you know, the air going or not going, but just not, not, you know, real, real, real cold in here, but also not real hot in here, you know, and then when the air comes on, I'll put a little pair of socks on her or cover her up, but just adorable. She looks cute in everything, everything she's wearing. Yeah. Everything she wears. My babies look cute and everything, but with her skin tone, she just looks beautiful in everything. Let's give her back her praying bear because she stole that one from mommy. And she said, I get the praying bear. That one's mine. That one's my bear. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's make sure she's lined up good for you guys. Yes. Oh, my goodness. She looks like a present. <laughs> she looks like a Christmas present. Yes, she does. She's a Christmas present. All right, you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe, um, healthy, and happy. We'll go ahead and pull this out and let her give you a kiss. Mm -hmm. She blows everybody a kiss, and she says, I love all First stuff, starting with God, and then I love Mommy and Daddy, and then all my aunties, uncles, grandmas, and grandpas out there, I love you all very much. And I do too, but remember, God loves you the most. And I hope you liked um, the first uh, reading on with Billy Graham on Louder Than Words. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you will enjoy these. Um, and I hope you enjoyed seeing Topanga, and of course, Goldie. You're interested in Goldie? Uh, send me an email. I list it down in my box. I'll throw it up on the screen right now. Um, just send me over an email or even tell me in here if you're interested and then I'll talk to you and we'll get you over to the, you know, to my email so that I can get your address and everything and get payment. I take PayPal or a cash app and we'll get the payment and, uh, for, you know, two ninety nine for her and the, sh um, flat rate shipping at $23 for that. And then if it goes to another country, we'll talk and we'll find out what that is, get that all taken care of and I'll get her sent out ASAP to you guys. If you're interested, just let me know. She's a beautiful little girl. So... Let's find a good home for her. Other than that, to everybody, take care. God bless, and I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload.